My name is Nikos Gotsis. I'm the representative of Czech Republic in the Ecosystem Committee. Uh, we just voted on uh, our resolution. It passed with a clear majority. Uh, the resolution we sponsored. Uh, we're very happy with the results, uh, as uh, most of the countries uh, eventually voted in favor of the agreement. Some uh, parts of the resolution were amended, uh, mostly those that we considered friendly amendments. Uh, the unfriendly eventually didn't pass because uh, the block we created uh, stopped it. And that uh, had some uh, negative effects on uh, the opinion of countries like the United States and uh, Pakistan and India, which eventually voted against the resolution um, because they didn't think it incorporates all uh, the matters they wanted to include in this subject. Um, I heard that you wrote the resolution. How did you manage to do that? We, we uh, at the first we had the moderate caucuses uh, and we invited all countries to express their opinions on the subject. We had something very draft at the beginning. Then uh, we uh, created a format, uh, we uh, made a better format to be more official and uh, to look like a draft resolution. The preambulators were easy, they were uh, about the UN conventions, the Geneva Convention. And uh, in the end, uh, we incorporated most of the ideas uh, proposed by the countries on our blog, uh, on uh, the global blog, even though uh, eventually we had to take some uh, principles that were proposed by the other blog of China, Chile and uh, other countries. Okay, so now do you think your resolution uh, is the most uh, optimal for you? No, we believe it is in the most optimal form it could be uh, because it's a product of fruitful debate between uh, countries from all over the world and from all over uh, uh, the geographical um, continents. Uh, it is a um, uh, it has a framework that doesn't uh, infringe on the national uh, policies of uh, countries. It uh, mostly suggests measures to be implemented and it proposes certain uh, funding measures uh, for countries that uh, still suffer from the economic crisis caused by the United States of America. Thank you for your time. Thank you.